Hey folks, nothingwire.com and we are the launch of the Sony Xperia ZL and Z or Z however you call it. So this is the Xperia ZL. This is um, almost identical to the Xperia Z but it's more like a little scaled down version with a little amendment here and there. For example, with the Z you get a glass back, here you get a more rubber textured back. Same 13 MP camera. Although I'm not sure if it has the same XMOR RS sensor as the Z has. LED um, flash there, you have the speaker here. The power button, volume rocker. You can see the dedicated camera hardware button. Below you have uh, eyelet for your lanyard. On the top you have the 3.5mm jack. And that should be the micro USB port. So uh, this guy is also a little thicker than the Xperia Z, it's uh, about 9 plus mm as compared to 7.9 mm of the Z. Same screen, same screen, same resolution, same camera. So spec wise this guy is powered by the same 1.5 gigahertz uh, great processor, the Adreno 320 GPU and uh, uh, the Qualcomm chipset, 2GB RAM, 16GB uh, internal memory, you also might get a 32GB version. This comes in three colors, white, black and red. So the Z has a purple, not red and uh, the ZL has the red color, not the purple. So let's quickly go to the interface. Same interface runs on Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean, scheduled to be upgraded to 4.2. That's music and camera, one touch button, so you can uh, straight away drag that to get access to the camera. Note that this is not exactly a retail unit, so expect some bugs. So you have the still and your video cameras here, some settings there. This icon denotes that it's in full auto mode, so if you would rather use some manual or some Customization, you have all these options. There you go. So the status bar stays here at all time, although at times uh, hidden, but you can pop it up like pop it up like I just did. You open it and you get to the brand new Sony custom UI on top of Jelly Bean. But it pretty much retains the feeling, the look at least of the older Xperia skins. However, you don't have the floating widgets there. Rather, you have the more traditional style of adding to home screen where you go to app and you drag anything up to your home screen to add it to the home screen. You also have this brilliant 3D app dock sitting there. You can customize this of course. You can also delete any widget with the familiar animation bin. So that's the main app deck. Have a look at the apps. So uh, another aspect where the ZL differs from the Z is that uh, this guy is not exactly uh, a waterproof although it's scatterproof and scratch proof up to a certain level the screen but it's not probably as um, dust and water resistant um, as the Z. Uh, none of the Z and ZL models are waterproof exactly, they are water resistant. Yeah, so that's a quick look at the ZL. So we'll give you a detailed review when this unit comes to our lab. Thank you.